Hey guys, welcome to the next commentary. And this game we are playing not mid again. We are now top lane, so I'm going to be playing pretty much every single role, I guess, every single video if I get to play support in jungle next. But uh gonna be playing Poppy because I don't really own any other top champions at all. I like the I was looking at mid champions to play for this video and the only other champions that I own is Akali or not Akali, I own a uh Ari and LeBlanc, and that's it. I, I don't know anybody else. So I'm going to be playing Poppy Top, which isn't that bad. Uh, I am against Master Yi, so Agreed. I think I should do fine in lane. I am unsure if I can do these Raptors. I'm actually really unsure if I could do them. I think I might be able to, but I never tested inside of a custom, so I might die. I'm not sure what I would start either, because this does give me 15 AD, and yeah, I'm just going to ward that to make sure that I can get out of here. <laughs> I think I'm going to skip doing this. I am, I am very unsure. Anyways, I'm against Master Yi Top, which is very weird. Uh, he does have true damage, so that does actually counter my Valiant Fighter. Um, which Poppy Passive has one of the best passives in the game. If she takes damage that would bring her below 10% of her current HP, it gets reduced by 50%. That is extremely strong. Imagine a VR ult killing you, but since it's going to kill you, it takes 50% damage. So, as you can imagine, you actually are extremely tanky at low HP. Extremely tanky. I'm going to start Q so I could harass him in lane. I'm just going to sit and wait. I think he might be... Oh, never mind. He's not doing camp. My Q pretty much turns all of my physical damage into magic damage, and it can crit. So uh, he has no MR, so it's actually going to be—it's actually going to be pretty good for me. Agreed. <clears throat> I probably shouldn't have popped that yet. I should get to low HP and then pop it. Also, Q will auto attack reset, kind of like uh, many abilities in League of Legends, like. Uh, trying to think of an AD that uh, can auto attack reset. Master Yi can auto attack and then Q and then auto attack, but it's a little bit longer. But with uh, Q, you can auto attack and then Q, and it will reset your auto attack, and you'll deal more damage that way. So I'm just going to be auto attacking this shit stuff. He just Q'd for some reason, so I'm just going to auto attack him a few times. He's not really trading back with me once again. Uh, I, what I've really noticed about this elo is that people don't trade. Um, really important to actually start learning how to trade, because... This guy is pretty much letting me just harass him down in lane. Not sure if that's what he's wanting to do. There we go, he actually auto-attacked me there. But yeah, learning how to trade, even if you mess up trading, at least you'll be doing it, right? So, I'm pretty strong. I thought I could hit him into the wall right there. Barely missed, just barely. He's just going to heal back a little bit, that's fine. I have pretty low HP, but that's fine because uh, I take reduced damage because of my passive. Xin Zhao's here, um, I'm not going to... I'm surprised he got him! What the hell? I could have flashed for that, I thought he wasn't going to catch him, I thought Master Yi was just going to be able to run away. Whatever, he made my lane a lot easier, even though Master Yi might teleport. No, he made my lane a lot easier. I really didn't expect him to even get that, so I didn't even bother following. Dang, no trust for the Zen sound. I'm sorry, Zen. <sighs> if I knock him into the wall, I can kill him really easily. I'm pretty sure. Uh, he didn't even bother flashing, so that was an easy pickup. And now I can just snowball because I'm probably going to be able to buy a Sheen. Uh, they're, they have a Fiddlesticks jungle, so I'm not even afraid of uh, pushing this wave. He's probably going to TP now, though, so i got to be a little bit careful about this. I'm actually going to just pop a health potion now for the hell of it. I just kind of want this cannon, to be honest. I just missed two CS for no reason. Uh, if I get this cannon, I think I'll be pretty safe. I wonder if I can even fight this guy in my minions. So I'm using my minions right now. Damn! 
Oh, I should have gotten closer to the wall or something. He literally was just auto-attacking me. I was about to flash away and then see if I could bring him to the brush so I can kill him one more time. Would have killed him. I was really greedy there, but, I mean, <laughs> might as well see what I can do for outplaying. Make it a lot more interesting inside some of these games, too. Even though I, I do want to win, though. I really want to win. Got to TP back up because I really need to actually get back inside this lane. He probably backed. Gonna queue that because I don't know if I'm gonna get it. Should be able to get all these really easily. <laughs> For Poppy, I used to play a lot of Poppy. You always max Q. For the most part, I used to max W because W actually increases your damage by quite a bit. Actually, don't know if I should be maxing Q. It doesn't give that much base damage. I might actually max W because every single stack of W I think gives 15 more AD and 15 more armor. Back when I used to play Poppy uh, a long time ago, whenever I went against an AD top, I would literally run all armor runes and then start with W first. It would give me around 108 armor at level 1. And 108 armor at level 1 is insanely high. It was impossible to kill me all game. I could just chunk them out with my percentage HP on my, uh, my Q. So it made it really easy to just beat people that way. And it was really fun to do, actually. I have a Sheen, so not able to hit him. Wow, okay, I have another hit though. Come on. Okay, there we go. There we go. Trading with Poppy is something that you want to do often. Whenever the person goes in on you, you want to go in on them. Of course, I would not do this if he was like Gnar, because Gnar would kite me really easily. Just gonna hit him. I thought I could hit him into the wall there. It's a lot shorter range. Well, it was kind of close, but... Just gonna keep on poking him down with my uh, Q. You can't really do anything about it. Master E top is not the best. Oh my gosh. He's like a little bit faster than me. I, I, oh, he has boots. What the heck? He started boots. Poppy does go oom um pretty quickly, so I'm trying to not use any spells besides my Q because it is kind of mana efficient. 55 mana is not that bad. I think he's maxing W first, which is extremely weird. But, I mean, it's working because he's actually being able to, uh... He's being able to, like, sustain through all of my damage. We could definitely dive him, though. I don't know if Zen is wanting to do that. Nice! Good job. Good job. Hit him into the wall, and then, uh... Zen was there because I saw him coming up, so I decided to take the initiative and come after him before Zen even arrived, because if you know how fast someone's gonna get inside your lane, normally you can engage beforehand to like uh, bait them and make that a lot easier to get a gank off. <clears throat> I hope that makes sense. It makes sense in my head when I explain it at least. Cinder's not coming top, not sure why he's saying that. Okay, so uh, Master Yi does not have TP, which means that he cannot teleport back top, so I'm trying to shove this as fast as I can. I'm actually just going to pop my W, which is going to give me full stacks of my uh, passive, which I, I think I already had, but I just want to make sure. And that's going to allow me to take the minions a lot faster because I have more AD, because it just gives you more AD per stack. He's going to back now, he can't stop me. I'm gonna go for Trinity Force first. I'm gonna actually go for Zeal for the hell of it. Normally I would go the other item because it gives me... Wow, I was, in my head I was like, okay, I'm gonna take Zeal because it's gonna give me movement speed. But then I'm like, okay, well, Phage gives me movement speed too, actually. But I couldn't buy Phage anyway, so whatever. If this works out in the first place, I wouldn't have been able to buy Phage. Even if I do get ganked, I'm probably gonna ulti the Master Yi because I think Fiddlesticks is going to deal more damage than Master Yi because he deals a lot of dot damage, which is damage over time. So it's going to be like 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. That means my passive is really useless. It's only good if it's like against burst damage. <clears throat> so I'm going to be... I'm just going to be putting these points... Huh. I'm just going to queue him there. I'm actually going to be maxing E next. I look at the damage, and if I actually hit both of the parts, like the initial and the second part, it actually will deal a lot of damage. Holy crap. So I'm going to get E second. Nope. Well, that was really bad. I thought he was going to like appear right there, right here, but instead he like appeared over here. So that was my fault for not understanding where he was going to pop up. Probably not doing it quickly enough either. Just gonna CS. I have 74. Like, as you, as I said last game, CSing. What? Okay, I just need to run away. 
I'm pretty sure I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. I ulted the Master or uh, I ulted the Cinder because I figured that I can live through her burst and he was gonna deal true damage to me, so would have taken a lot more damage. Now she's staying, she wants to kill me, so I'm just gonna stay back, make sure that she wastes her time. Now that my allies are coming up though, I'm just gonna knock her into the wall, kill her. Uh, not gonna bother, go bother going after the Master E because I feel like we can't kill him under the tower because I don't have ulti. If I did, then of course. Now they're just like taking my CS. My CS, stop! Make it stop. Never mind, I'm gonna cue that so they don't take it from me. So we can definitely kill this guy. Not sure why he's staying. Okay, cool. Never mind. I thought we could like catch up to him or something. Or like Zin just flashed on him, but he used flash last time. I could have maybe flashed and hit him into the wall, but that's fine. We got a tower, which is an objective, of course, but of course, objectives in this low of an elo is kind of hard to take as a team. You'll see later uh, about what I mean. It, it's People kind of know what they're doing a lot better inside other uh, team comps and shit. Or not team comps, but I'm going to TP bot because I see that they're fighting. Holy shit. <sighs> Dang it, I wish Morgana came. She was just standing there for too long. Also, I didn't think she was going to take that much damage. What the hell? That was actually extremely strong. I didn't expect to take 600 damage from her, especially with my passive, but I think the new Ash is pretty good. But now I have my Trinity Force. And Trinity Force at 11 minutes is a little early for a Trinity Force, in my opinion. I think that's uh, going to give me a humongous power spike, so this is going to be a really easy game. I'm just going to go for the Ash every single time. I'm probably going to ulti... Who is that? Fiddlesticks. And then go for uh, Ash, because if I ulti Nautilus, I'm pretty sure he's going to CC me to hell. And he can't CC me if I just ulti the Fiddlesticks, and the Fiddlesticks can just fear me. That's it. So, I'm not really afraid of Fiddlesticks at all. I really doubt he's gonna even be going for me. This guy is ulting for the tower. Whoa. Oh my gosh, I didn't get that. I tried to E the minion so I could get in range for that cannon. Got all that CS. And now I'm just gonna split. I'm just gonna be keep on pushing top all the time. I'm not gonna go anywhere else. Without my TP, at least. Uh, I don't I don't feel like roaming, I just feel like probably diving this guy over and over again, and creating a crap ton of pressure top. This is going to pink that for the hell of it. I probably could have pinked a little bit deeper, but I'll just ward there instead. going to buy a uh, upgraded yellow trinket that will allow me to deep ward in the jungle, just in case I am going to get ganked. That will be really helpful. So I'll just ward there, just in case anything happens. As soon as this guy walks up, he's gonna take damage. I think I am going to just Q him when he walks up for this. Uh, Fiddlesticks. Can he? Yeah, you can kill me. I'm just gonna leave. Goodbye. Uh, Fiddlesticks can't catch me if I just run away from him. I was able to ulti the Master Yi, which allowed Fiddlesticks not to fear me, and I just knocked him into the wall when he was trying to meditate, so that was an easy pickup. And it allowed Fiddlesticks to go top. So, small thing, you might notice that my teams win uh, quite often, which is partial luck, but. Uh, something that you need to remember is that when I win lane, it creates a ton of pressure. So that made Fiddle Six go top. Fiddle Six could have either not went top, and I probably would have gotten that tower or like really close to. But uh, since Fiddle Six does come top, because he's like, okay, this guy needs a lot of help because I'm just completely crushing him in lane, and he can't kill me. He can't really trade with me. That means that he has to come top, which allows my team to pretty much do other things around the map. They just ganked bot. As 4, so it was a 4v3. So, that actually allows your team to win more. So even if uh, you guys think 
I know that some people probably think this, and I don't know if they've watched my videos, but some people are like, wow, like, League of Legends is so lucky, like, sometimes you get really good teammates and sometimes you get really bad teammates. Well, in all of my games, I normally win so hard that allows my teammates to win a lot easier, because it makes it so they don't get pressured as much. Like, Fiddlesix could just ignore my lane and just be like, you know what, I'm just gonna help out bot lane instead, which actually would make the game tougher on me, in my opinion, rather than trying to gank me, because I don't think he can. But, uh... I think that was a pretty good description of what is going on inside of uh, different ELO scenarios because as you get higher ELO it's harder to carry and give that pressure because obviously people know how to play a lot better. I'm actually heading mid because I think that they're still gonna fight. Oh my god, Cinder no, stop killing my team! Whoa that flash. So she's dead, I, I can't kill anyone here. I'm just gonna stand in this bush. Ah, <sighs> oh, fuck it. If I, I walked into them, I'm pretty sure that I would have just gotten CC'd a little bit and not been able to do anything there. I am watching this Jinx, though, because she's going really deep into enemy territory where there's a lot of people. Okay, I got this guy, though. I got terrified, that's fine. That allows Jinx to come in instead. This Cinder is gonna die. I'm just gonna try to knock this guy into the wall. Oh, never mind. Oh, I could have ultied him! That would have been so good if I ultied him, then uh, I wouldn't have taken the damage from the arrow. I'm just gonna walk through this. One tower shot. I'm just gonna go top lane. <laughs> <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. <clears throat> top lane has a wave. Also, one check if blue is up. Hey, it is up. Cool. I think I could take this. Yeah, I could definitely take this. What the hell? So I'm gonna ulti the Ash, which will allow the Master Yi to not go on me. Okay, hi Master Yi. <laughs> Master Yi is like, I couldn't do anything, please. <laughs> Hopefully they're arguing, which makes the game a lot easier. Okay, that sounds kind of mean, but honestly, inside Solo... Oh my god, this guy tried to take the blue from me. No, it's my blue. Okay, so I stunned that guy against the wall as soon as he feared me, so that guy's dead too. I didn't even care about... What? I'm like, this guy's not gonna fight him, he's freaking Nautilus. I didn't even get an assist because he knocked me up when I was trying to dash him. We can kill this guy too. I tried to knock him into the Zinzo so he can deal some damage. Uh, easy tower dive. We should be able to take this tower too. Oh, come on. Okay, never mind. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Good luck. Good luck. I'm sorry. You're dead. Probably. I have a lot of money though, so I'm just gonna back off. Oh, you're not you're not dead. That's cool. Okay, I think I might be able to Oh. Whoa, okay. I thought Akali was gonna do a lot more damage. I was very wrong. I'm just gonna back. I have TP, I can TP back in, possibly. Cinder did not <laughs> think that she could even fight Akali, I guess, because she was really far back. <clears throat> now, the next item I'm probably gonna build is Hextech. Gunblade. I love this item on her. It allows my Q to give quite a bit of spell vamp, plus it allows my Q to give me lifesteal, plus it gives me an active which allows me to slow, and I deal a lot of single target uh, damage plus spells, which allows my Gunblade to actually go off cooldown a lot. Because Gunblade actually, every single time you hit, as you can see, basic attacks on hit and single target spells against champions reduce the item cooldown by three seconds. I could literally use this in like two fights, but I'm probably gonna kill the person before that. So I can use it like against, I don't know, three champions or something. That'd be good. Fiddle 6 is over here. Hi Fiddle 6. I'm going top to kill this Master Yi instead though. I could have probably just went out on the Fiddle 6 and ulti, but I kind of feel like saving my ulti so maybe I can like get a triple or something instead. I also have TP, so I can just TP in if they do get engaged on. I'm just auto-attacking, and I know that I'm going to get most of the CS for the most part, so that means I can, I'm allowed to watch mid at the same time that I'm CSing, which... I'm going to TP here. Oh boy. I'm going to wait until Fiddle 6 thing wears off. There we go. Okay, I don't know if I can fight this guy anymore. Holy hell. Oh, 
Oh, good. Phew. So, <clears throat> what I did there was I queued him. So that gave me a little bit of spell vamp. Allowed me to also use my flasks, which give me uh, more... <laughs> this poppy. I love it when people like overreact to this stuff. But um, it gave me some spell vamp, which gave me HP. And I also have a lifesteal, of course, so... I got back a little bit of HP, then I walked into the other brush, because he was probably going to face check it. And that allowed me to E him into the wall, because I saw that my cooldown was coming back up. So, just a simple thing. It was Bobby. I could, like, kill this guy, but I'm, I'm just going to leave him. Oh my god, that tower is, like, dead. Holy shit. I think I could just... Uh... Nah. It's always funny when people, like, blame the top lane instead of, uh, knowing that, like, I'm actually really good at the game. Ow. That's not good. Oh, let me go! Oh, I dodged it! Oh my god, no! No! Oh my gosh. They used, like, everything. They exhausted me, too. I dodged the Nautilus hook because I figured he was going to hook me right there, so I was just sidestepped it. Sidestepping is something really important, also, that people should try inside uh, any any game. A lot of the things in League of Legends that make you a little bit of a stronger player are just from playing the game in general. Uh, you just get better at the game as you play more, obviously. Hmm, what should I buy next? I'm going to buy Infinity Edge. Infinity Edge is also a really cool item on Poppy, because if you crit, you will literally one-shot the person with this build. I'm serious. Like, I've one-shot people with this build. But of course, I am 14 and 3, too. But as you can see, like, okay, so not only am I winning, but you see how many people it takes to kill me and how many people need to go on me. This means that my entire team is just literally running around, taking CS or taking towers. It seems like CS, because I don't see any really... Oh, this is, yeah, wait, why is this so low? Why was this not taken when everyone was top? I don't know what happened. I wasn't paying attention, but. <clears throat> so I'm going to take red buff, because uh, I'm the AD carry now. So I'm sorry, Jinx, this is mine. I'm going to take this from you. I hope you don't mind. I'm extremely fed, and I want this. Poppy, please carry. I'll try my best, Morgana. I'll try my best. <clears throat> I'm just going to CS some more. My CS is not the best, but I mean, that's because I have a freaking lot of uh, kills, so I'm just focusing on all these kills rather than CSing right now. So just going to take these. We have two dragons. Three dragons will be really helpful for me because that will give me more movement speed. Looks like Ash might be going something... No, I'm not going to go for it. I could have ultied her and went for it, but I was like, nah. I don't feel like wasting ulti. I I mean, it does have a pretty long cooldown. Two minutes. I, I don't like that. So I don't want to just waste it for one kill, even though it's not really a waste. So when you get a kill, you should always get an objective. But it's a lot better to get an objective at a certain time than others. Um, I'm going to save my E here so I can like kill the Ash or something. So I'm going to ulti her to make sure that the tower doesn't hit me, even though it's hitting someone else. <sighs> this is going for this guy now. And I got another penta! So now I got two penta kills <laughs> in two games. <laughs> As you can see, it's pretty easy to get pentos when you know what you're doing. Holy hell. Uh, so Jinx is getting bought and hip, so that's good. Uh, we can just get this. I'm pretty sure that they should surrender. I don't think they can win. Jinx, I got you. Don't worry. Don't worry, Jinx. Oh, whatever. Take, take this and stuff. I don't care. Drain me, I don't care. <laughs> I'm not gonna go for that guy. Okay, maybe I should've. Ah! Oh, I could've maybe gotten him. Whatever, I don't care. I just want these in hips. I wanna win. I don't care about kills anymore. Yeah, I'm being really greedy by going for those kills. I always go for the objectives rather than kills, like how I was explaining. <clears throat> Anyways, what was I explaining earlier? Oh yeah, okay, so the reason why I didn't ulti the Ash in a real game 
to get that kill. Obviously, I could have just killed her straight up and probably gone away. But that would have allowed... There's really low death timers, so she would have respawned pretty quickly, and none of my team was near me. Since none of my team is near me, that means I'm going to take a long time to actually take a tower. So I'm probably not even going to get an objective, but I killed someone. That's not worth it, in my opinion. If we were all grouped up together and I just go in and kill her, now that she's dead, my entire team's there, now we can get an objective. Objectives are always way better than getting the kills. I'm going to go here. I think Are they taking it? No, they're not. Never mind. So... <clears throat> I'm actually gonna go top also to get this last tower and end hit because that's the last thing between me and winning this game. Also, I could also kill the fiddlesticks. And I never did upgrade my trinket. So, rip. Rip trinket. Dang it! My second penta! I probably wouldn't have gone anything. Ash is too far away. Um. So now that we killed two, we could probably just end the game, I'm guessing. We have minions coming in from both sides. And I think that was a pretty good description of why uh, I, I didn't go in. In higher elo, it's like, okay, yeah, I got a kill, but if you can't get an objective off of it, obviously it's not really worth it to use all your cooldowns just for one kill. Uh, I'm not going to go for her. Okay, I might. No! Okay, I couldn't do it. I actually ultied her right as... Whoa. And we're just gonna win. GG. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my top lane commentary. Honestly, inside this low elo, like, I'm trying to give examples of what it is inside different elos, because obviously my viewer base is probably like, I bet there's plats, I bet there's silvers, I bet there's bronze, I bet there's golds, any elo, I bet there's diamonds too. But, um,. Inside different elos, everybody does something different, and there's a playstyle that can make it a lot easier. Inside this, I go a lot more ham than usual, because I know that I can normally outplay pretty much everyone, because I just have more mechanical skill than them, and I understand my champion better than them. Even though I haven't played Poppy in, like, a year, honestly, I'd never play Poppy, and you can see that I actually am still mechanically okay as her. And I understand the basics of her, and how to trade with her, and the build order, so... Inside low elo, as I tell this to everyone that uh, plays, or who talks to me, who's like, hey, I, I'm like silver right now, and I really want to get gold, and I don't know how to get it. And I always tell them, play the champion that you're most comfortable with, that's also kind of easy. If you know how to play a really good, like, uh, Zin Zhao, like, Zin Zhao isn't that hard to play, there's Zin uh, this game too. Or even Poppy. I don't think Poppy is that hard to play. But if you can mechanically play them really well, just play the hell out of them. Because you'll probably be able to carry with any champion inside this elo if you know how to play them. Instead of like being all like, wow, I see like Dyer's play Gnar. And then you're like, wow, I bet I can play Gnar. And like, I, I see him carry with it, so I'm going to try it out. And then you lose a game because you're like, wow, okay, so he's a little bit harder uh, to play and things like that. Once you start gaining elo and once you get around plat, you actually learn how to play pretty much any champion to an extent that you can carry with. So that's when you can start expanding your champion pool into champions that are really good in this meta. So like, obviously inside high elo, I'm not going to play Heimerdinger, but I could play Heimerdinger in this meta if I was really good at it. And I could even probably get to diamond playing only Heimerdinger. But obviously once I get higher up, I'd be like, okay, time to start learning some LeBlanc and like maybe Orianna, who's almost always good inside any meta. And things like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and enjoyed the tips and commentary. And I'll see you guys next time.